Do you ever wonder how a designer chooses their paint colors or maybe what their thought process is? Well, I'm Marilyn Taylor and I am going to show you exactly that. Here we go. And before we get started, be sure to subscribe, press that little button right there so that you don't ever miss a thing. This is what the back wall of my office is going to look like. I'm going to be adding a wallpaper mural uh, that looks exactly like this. It will extend on this wall as well. And so this whole back wall will be black with this mural. This will also have a portion of mural and then the rest of the wall will be black. So I have to choose colors for the other side of the room. And I am going to paint this door as well as there are two closet doors adjacent to this, to, like the whole wall is basically closet doors. Um, those are gonna get painted one color and then the rest of the wall is gonna get painted another. So I need to choose two colors. Now, um, my inspiration for this comes from one of the collections from Sherwin-Williams from last year, uh, which is this noir collection. And I'm finally finding a reason to use some of this. And this is along the lines of what I'm wanting to do is two colors maybe with, you know, that are, that are quite dark. So I obviously need to play with what's going on inside of this mural. Now, unfortunately, because this is a six week project and um, I didn't know about it, of course, until the day before it started, I am sort of behind the eight ball and these murals only come from the UK and this is a custom piece. So it is currently being printed and then it will be shipped and I will not have it in time to be able to then get it, match the paints and then do the wall. So that's typically how you want to do it. You want to wait to get it in and physically have it and then take the paint colors. So now this is sometimes the challenge is we have a timeline and we can't do it. So I am gonna do the best that I can by simply using what I have from the computer. I'm thinking I want a blue and a green. So right off the bat, I'm really, really drawn to this Cascades color. I love the teal in it. I love that it's got blue and green. Um, this is definitely speaking to me. I want it to be nice and dark. And I don't know that I see exactly that color in there, but there's enough blue and green to where I think it would play very, very nicely with it. So that's the first color. The other one is this Anchors Away. I kind of want the, the rest of the walls to not quite just perfectly match black, but I, I think I want sort of this navy, you know, really deep blue, almost black color, you know, but the teal color is going to be most likely what I'm going to choose on the closets. Okay, so let's go look at color chips. Okay, so what I did is I went to Sherwin-Williams and I got all of these separate colors. I didn't have the normal size color swatches in my kit because these are newer colors. So I just went and got every color in a paint chip that might work for my color scheme. So now the first step that I want to take is I want to start eliminating now that I'm in the space and I see all the colors together and I'm in the actual light that the paint will be in when it goes on the walls. That is always, you never want to try to choose a color in the store. We know we're going to have black on the wallpaper walls. Okay, so that's going to be on two. So I have it here really for reference. Now right off the bat, I'm looking immediately, my eye has three colors that I know are not going to work. The first one is seaworthy, it almost looks gray. That's not going to work for me. So I'm Tossing that. Rainstorm, same deal. Not enough oomph. So that's gone. In the navy feels a little bit maybe too, compared to this one, this anchors away, it's it's a little too primary. And I know for sure I don't want the navy to go on the doors um, because I want that to either be the teal or the green. 
So I know that I want the, the wall color to be really saturated and dark, almost black. Or I may go with black. But right now, if I'm going to consider doing two additional colors on these walls, I want it to be almost black. So in the navy is fine. Do I like Dark Knight or Blue Peacock better? Blue Peacock is really nice. I also want to hold it up against the natural light because if I turn this way, it just looks black because of the light causing that, you know, the silhouette effect. So I want to hold it this way. I want to hold it this way. That is a real possibility if I wanted the doors to really pop. Next, let's look at the greens, at the emeralds. That suddenly feels too primary for me. It feels too primary. It's not sticking with that really, it feels a little bit too Jonathan Adler now, where it's going with a little brighter, poppier colors. It's not having the moodiness that I want it to have. A shamrock is giving me a navy, but see that, I love that more. I'll see now actually Cascades is also an option. I'm actually kind of liking the Dark Knight and the Cascades together more. But this Cascades, it's giving me a really nice green. And that may be the compromise that I need to do or to get that sort of emerald, you know, the green into the room that I was that I was liking before. Okay, so I feel like I'm at a standstill. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the computer and I'm going to hold these colors up against the mural on the computer and that I think is what's going to give me my answers. Let's go. After going to my computer and looking at the image there, I decided to print it out. And I have put it onto the wall that it is actually going to be on. And I realized that this is probably going to be the better way to start playing with colors. So, now that we have this here, this is the door that this is going to be up against. And I decided I'm going to choose that color first because it's the thing that's going to be seen the most. It's going to accent the colors in the wallpaper the most. What is really speaking to me in here is these deeper colors, some of these blues here. Not the bright poppy stuff, because, you know, initially I was really leaning toward this blue peacock, which I feel like detracts from this image instead of complementing it. So, I'm like blue peacock. Remember when I said that Seaworthy and Rainstorm, there were two blues right off the bat that when I was standing over there, and just looking at the colors by themselves, I got rid of. I'm back to those because again, I'm realizing that the, the undertones of things that are really speaking to me more are these more muted tones, these more muted tones. I even started to think maybe I should go into a brick, brownish, red, really deep color, but I don't want to go there. Then suddenly, when I'm looking at Rainstorm up against that, it's not drawing the eye to it, it's complementing. And I'm really liking that. Compared with Seaworthy, you know, in these like this, we'll put both together. Now this is reflecting light, so it's looking more gray. No, no, that's just because of the light. Let me come this way and see if the reflection is just throwing me off. And I think it was. So standing over here is helping. And do you know, it's very hard to tell. So what that makes me feel like I need to do is either wait for the wallpaper to come, get it on the wall, and then just matte brush paint before I move everything in, because this wallpaper may not come until three or maybe four days before the reveal, or I take a chance right now. I can always change it after. I'm unsure of what I'm going to do, to be 100% honest. Real life, this is the way it works when you're designing. Sometimes you think you can figure something out and 
I'm just not feeling total confidence. I feel like if I do something like this, the dark night, it could end up being too dark to really make a difference. But, you know, this, this dark, dark green is also the cascade is also really, really nice. I don't know, I might get samples of all of them and just paint this portion of the wall black before I prime, just so that I can play with the colors up against it and see what it looks like. So stay tuned to see what I end up doing to solve this dilemma. Um, and again, this is why it's ideal to actually have the wallpaper or the thing that you are working with, the fabric, the art, the whatever, before you choose your paint colors. All right, see you next time. So as I stood here continuing to look and digest and play with the color, I think I've actually just made a decision to use the Cascades, which is this really, really deep, deep, deep green on the opposite wall of the mural where my desk is gonna go against that is going to have the stencil on it. And what's still kind of undecided is this. So the reason why I chose this green Behind these flowers, there is a deep, deep, deep dark green, basically this green, that is very subtle. And I feel like having this across from it is just going to have that same mood and that same feel. So I have chosen Cascades by Sherwin-Williams, SW7623. The lookup number is 279 dash C1. After that, I'm now playing with either Seaworthy or Rainstorm as my door color for the door and the closet doors. And they're honestly both so similar. I'm going to get a sample of it and after I prime everything, I'm gonna put a sample of this on this door and hopefully make a decision. So that is what I just did. Sometimes you just have to sit and stare at it, which is not exciting for video. And I just sat and stared at it and digested, and I have at least narrowed down to these three. And isn't it interesting that the two that I threw away right off the bat came back around? So that's just how it goes sometimes. If you have not been following along with me from the beginning of this project, make sure you head to my blog, The Tailored Home, so you can just click on the link below and you can see exactly how I developed and designed my office. That is it for today. I hope that that helps to get into the mind of a designer. Hopefully you can take these techniques and apply them to your project and DIY like a pro. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like for me to consult with you on your project, just head to Marilyn taylor.com and click on work with me. I hope to hear from you soon and I will see you next time.